The extra hepatic biliary apparatus collects bile from the liver, stores it in the gallbladder and transmits it to the second part of the duodenum. The apparatus consists of right and left hepatic duct, common hepatic duct, gallbladder, cystic duct, bile duct. Hepatic duct. Right and left hepatic ducts emerge at the porta hepatis from the right and left lobes of liver. Common hepatic duct. It is formed by the union of right and left hepatic ducts near the right end of porta hepatis. There may be accessory hepatic ducts are present in about 15% of subjects. They usually issue from the right lobe of the liver and terminate either in the gallbladder or in the common hepatic duct. Gallbladder. Gallbladder is a pear-shaped reservoir of bile situated in the fossa of the inferior surface of right lobe of liver. The fossa for gallbladder extends from the right end of the porta apatis to the inferior border of the liver. Cystic duct. Cystic duct is about 3 to 4 cm long. It begins at the neck of the gallbladder, runs downwards, backwards and to the left and ends by joining the common apatic duct at an acute angle to form the bile duct. Bile duct. Bile duct is formed by the union of the cystic and common apatic ducts near the porta apatis. It is 8 cm long and has a diameter of about 6 mm. Angle. Callet's triangle. This is a triangles, triangular space formed by cystic duct, common hepatic duct, and segment V of the right ME liver forms Callet's triangle. This space contains cystic artery, cystic lymph node, and autonomic fibers reaching the gallbladder.